everybody, welcome back to the DevOps talks that are currently undergoing in Sydney in 2022. And I am here with Pat. Pat has recently just come off stage giving us a great talk about security and DevOps and all the things related. Pat, did you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So my name is Pat. Um, I'm actually based out of Singapore. Uh, I look after the solution engineering for Zimperium. Uh, yeah, glad to be here and you know, it was a good session, I think. How are you feeling? How was it to be back yeah, in Australia? Yeah, for, for sure it was good to be in front of people again, obviously, and uh, I think the I, I missed the in-person kind of uh, interaction. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot. And the weather, right? Singapore, I don't get this cold, so lovely. And can you tell everybody a little bit more about what you just presented on? Today? Sure. So, essentially, you know, from a uh, <coughs> DeskOps perspective, uh, I think uh, in the industry we see a lot of focus on pre-production, uh, you know, security and scanning. So what I really uh, sort of emphasize today is to take uh, a more focus around what happens when the application goes live, right? How are you able to protect, uh, protect, defend, and even, you know, provide some understanding on how the risks are being managed or even being protected, right? So I think, uh, you know, and using some, you know, example of application that, you know, maybe doesn't really have a good, uh, you know, security protection in there to illustrate, you know, the, the areas of gaps and, you know, how they can also improve it. So, yeah. And so security is definitely something that's top of mind for most developers. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are some of the tips that you can share? I mean, you were focused specifically on sure. application development. What yes. are some of the tips? Yeah, yeah. So I, I think uh, one of the highlights, I think, from our survey that we did uh, earlier this year is, uh, you know, really about protecting the asset inside the application that you spend a lot of, you know, intellectual property and money to develop, right? So, you know, have a good obfuscation practice, protecting your source code, your IP, uh, protecting the data that your application is accessing or what you're storing and even how you communicate. And last but not least is around the environmental runtime protection, right? Because ultimately, uh, the bad guys have all the tools out there where the developers are, you know, not necessarily have access to the same thing. So it's really about, you know, doing the basic right and, uh, and have a assessment and visibility around how you can, you know, how you're doing, right? Just like the way you put the performance monitoring observability in your production app, you should also instrument security in your app. Yep. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you so much for taking your time much. and for coming all the way over from Singapore. No problem. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah.